Greetings everyone, I'm Maxine and I'm thrilled to be your guide on journey to the world of infertility treatment in Iran. Together we will discover how tablet tourism can be your partner in transforming your dream of parenthood into a joyful reality. Before we dive into the video, I have a small request for my dear friends. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please take a moment to do so. We would be thrilled to welcome you into our community of followers. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to stay updated on our latest content, hit the bell icon to receive notifications. <laughs> to understand infertility treatment in Iva. Infertility affects millions of couples worldwide and it can be an emotionally challenging experience. However, with advancements in the medical technology and the expertise of dedicated healthcare professionals, there is hope for couples struggling to conceive. Let's begin. As we embark on this journey to understand infertility treatment in Iran, let's take a moment to delve into the fascinating history of this medical field, both globally and within the Iranian context. Our exploration will transport us back into the time to the pivotal decades of the 1920s and 1960s, era that witnessed groundbreaking advancements that revolutionized landscape infertility treatment. In the year 1923, a momentous discovery took place in the realm of medical research. Scientists, driven by an unwavering quest to understand the intricacies of human reproduction, succeeded in identifying estrogen, the female fertility hormone. This remarkable breakthrough made the pivotal moment in the story of infertility treatment, opening up new avenues for research and innovation. Six years later, in 1929, the scientific community celebrated another triumph with the identification of progesterone, the complementary female fertility hormone. This discovery further illuminated the complex hormonal interplay involved in reproduction, paving the way for the development of hormone replacement therapies and other groundbreaking treatments. The identification of estrogen and progesterone marked the turning point in the history of infertility treatment providing scientists with essential tools to understand and address the challenges faced by couples struggling to conceive. These discoveries laid the groundwork for the development of life-changing treatments that have helped countless individuals and couples achieve their dreams of parenthood. In 1948, Miriam Menken embarked on groundbreaking collaboration with Dr. John Rock, delving into extensive research on fertility. Their meticulous efforts led to the retrieval of over 800 eggs, of which 138 were subjected to fertilization in a laboratory setting. These revolutionary experiments paved the way for IVF, opening a new frontier in assisting infertile couples. Menken and Rock's groundbreaking findings were meticulously documented and published in prestigious American Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology. Their work served as a beacon of hope for infertile couples worldwide, illuminating the path towards innovative treatments and the realization of parenthood. Menken's legacy lives on inspiring generations of scientists to continue pushing the boundaries of fertility science and helping countless individuals and couples achieve their dreams of building families. The year 1959 marked a pivotal moment in the history of reproductive science. Dr. Min Shi Chang, a distinguished researcher at the Worcester Foundation, opened a new door to helping infertile couples by successfully performing the first IVF procedure on rabbits. Dr. Chang's groundbreaking research was a crucial step in demonstrating the possibility of transferring laboratory fertilized embryos in the uterus and achieving pregnancy and live births. 
this remarkable achievement laid the scientific foundation for IVF methods and brought new hope to infertile couples worldwide. The main bell has gone here. The advent of fertility supplements and medications revolutionized infertility treatment, offering hope to countless couples worldwide. This scientific breakthrough empowered physicians to take a significant step forward in assisting their patients by enhancing their chances of conception. While the first successful IVF procedure was performed on animals in 1959, translating this achievement to humans presented significant challenges. In 1970s, witnessed the initial of an unsuccessful attempts at human IVF. Several factors contributed to the initial challenges of IVF in humans. The intricate nature of the human reproductive system, coupled with limited knowledge, experience, and technological constraints of the time, posed significant hardness. Although the 1970s did not witness the first successful human IVF, it marked a period of groundbreaking efforts and crucial steps towards achieving this milestone. The year 1973 marked a pivotal moment in IVF history. A team of Australian researchers at Monash University, led by Carl Wood, John Litton, and Alan Turnson, reported the first human IVF pregnancy in an article published in The Lancet. This groundbreaking achievement ignited hope for infertile couples worldwide. However, this pregnancy ended abruptly after a few days. In 1976, another milestone was reached in the IVF journey. Reports of ectopic pregnancies resulting from IVF emerged. This marked a step forward in the field of IVF, but due to the nature of condition, these pregnancies also didn't continue to turn. Let's move on from these setbacks and see when the good news of the first successful IVF arrives. On July 25th, 1978, a remarkable event transpired in Oldham, Northwest England, marking a turning point in the history of medicine. Louis Brown, the world's first IVF baby, was born bringing hope and joy to the countless infertile couples worldwide. This extraordinary achievement was a culmination of years of dedicated research and perseverance by two pioneers in the field of IVF, Dr. Robert Edwards and Dr. Patrick Steptoe. stand in the journey of infertility treatment. Iran has witnessed remarkable progress in the realm of infertility treatment and IVF development, attributed to a unique synergy of factors. Pioneering IVF specialists the dedication and the expertise of Iranian IVF pioneers have been instrumental in driving the field forward. Their unwavering commitment to research and innovation has paved the way for significant advancements. Interdisciplinary Collaboration a remarkable spirit of collaboration has fostered cross-disciplinary teamwork among Iranian specialists, bringing together diverse perspectives and expertise to tackle complex infertility challenges. Supportive Religious Guidance the endorsement and support of prominent Shia scholars have played a crucial role in shaping Iran's approach to infertility treatment, ensuring ethical and religiously sound practices. This confluence of factors has propelled Iran to the forefront of infertility treatment, particularly in IVF. Iranian fertility clinics are now recognized globally for their exceptional standards of care, impressive success rates, and compassionate approach to patient well-being. 1992 The first baby born through retrograde ejaculation using intrauterine insemination IUI marks a significant step forward in addressing male infertility challenges. 1994 The birth of the first baby resulting from intracytoplasmic sperm injection ICSI and egg donation highlights the potential of this revolutionary technique in overcoming severe male infertility and enabling couples with limited fertility options to achieve parenthood. 1997 
the successful delivery of the first baby using ICSI and particularness epididymal sperm aspiration, PESA expands the scope of ICSI applications, offering hope to men with obstruct vas deferners. 1998 the transfer of the first embryo generated from testicular sperm using microinjection techniques marks a groundbreaking achievement in addressing azospermia as severe from a male infertility. 2004, the birth of the first baby following a pre-implantation genetic diagnosis PGD at Royan Institute at Tehran demonstrates the power of PGD in identifying, selecting embryos free from genetic disorders, reducing the risk of inherited conditions. Our journey through the history of infertility treatment has unveiled a remarkable tale of progress, resilience, and hope. As we move forward, let's delve into the intricacies of infertility treatment, exploring the various steps involved and the comprehensive measures undertaken in Iran to support couples on their path to parenthood. Our comprehensive guide to infertility treatment continues as we delve into the crucial aspects that precede and guide the treatment journey. From initial steps to advanced interventions, we'll explore the various considerations and options available to couples seeking to overcome infertility. We will then join Dr. Ali to benefit from his knowledge and experience in this field. Hello Dr. Ali, thanks for accepting my invitation for this interview. Uh, could you provide, provide details on the specific infertility treatment methods uh, available in Iran, such as uh, PGD, IUI, ICSI, and etc.? Uh, thanks for your invitation. Uh, this is Dr. Ali Bazazi, uh, fertility consultant and medical doctor. Uh, we have different types of infertility treatments in Iran. Iran is a pioneer country worldwide for uh, infertility treatment. Uh, starting from IUI, IVF, uh, ICSI, uh, also other services in third party like egg donation, surrogacy, gender selection, uh, or uh, full chromosomal evaluation, which is called PGS or uh, PGTA. We have all these services uh, in Iran. Could you elaborate uh, on the success rate of very infertility treatment methods in Iran? Um, you know, in reality, the success rate of infertility treatment uh, varies between around 10% to 50% for IVF. Depending on the age of the lady, depending on the quality of eggs, sperm quality, success rate and different uh, factors. Um, in general, uh, in Iran, IVF success rate is around 30 to 35%, IVF plus egg donation success rate is around 45% and uh, when we add surrogacy, the success rate rise to uh, around 60 to 70 percent. Uh, can you elaborate on the uh, cost, uh, cost involved uh, and how they compare uh, to other countries uh, in the field of infertility treatment? Uh, despite high medical and infertility treatment qualities in Iran, the costs are acceptable and affordable. Um, if we compare the prices for IVF, IVF plus egg donation, or surrogacy, maybe Iran is one-third of Asian countries and uh, one-tenth of uh, United States and American countries. For example, for uh, surrogacy uh, in uh, North Cyprus, it's around $50,000 to $80,000. In the United States, it's uh, around $150,000. But in Iran, we offer to uh, surrogacy from twenty to uh, $35,000. Uh, on the other hand, for IVF plus egg donation uh, in countries like Malaysia, Thailand, the cost is around uh, $16,000, whereas it's around $6,000 in Iran, which is uh, really affordable. So we can uh, claim that Iran is the cheapest country for infertility treatment. Yeah, I want to um, I want to mention this point. Iran is cheapest in the world, besides uh, really high quality of services. It's an important uh, point. For example, in some uh, countries, we see the prices are cheaper than Iran, but the quality of services and the success rate is not good. So overall uh, evaluation of costs, quality, success rate shows Iran is the best destination for infertility treatment. Uh, given the religious context in Iran, uh, could you speak uh, to the moral consideration uh, surrounding uh, infertility treatment? Uh, of course, uh, 
uh, Iran is also a pioneer country in the rules for infertility treatment. Uh, we have a great religious and national rules support for infertility treatments, which is pioneer in the world. Uh, and um, these uh, rules allow uh, Iranians and foreigners to enter all types of infertility treatments in Iran. This is due to support the foundation of families and this is the importance of family in uh, our country. Uh, on the other hand, um, we usually care our clients' privacy in Tebmet tourism and we do not share their information unless they allow us. Uh, do you have any specific program or support uh, in Champagne uh, systems in, uh, in place uh, for international patients uh, seeking infertility treatment by uh, Tebmet tourism? Of course. Um, you know, we are not travel agency, we are healthcare facilitator, but in order to provide a package of services, we provide services A to Z, starting from visa requests, their transportation, uh, translator in different languages, also uh, their accommodation, and uh, whatever uh, they may need in their medical journey in Iran. So, uh, we support our clients uh, before traveling to Iran, during staying in Iran, and after receiving services. Uh, these are a complete and comprehensive uh, support for our uh, international clients. Uh, could you share some insights uh, into the uh, patient experience when undergoing infertility treatment in Iran? Uh, that's a great question. As I uh, told, uh, we care our clients' privacy. In 2023, we had clients from more than 65 countries worldwide for infertility treatment. And till now, we have uh, more than 300 success or EAC cases from all over the world. Uh, we care our uh, patients' privacy more than our advertisement and introduction to the world. So um, maybe the number of videos or um, photos will not show our experience in this field. But we uh, we are happy with this because uh, our clients are happy. Uh, we are the pioneer uh, uh, healthcare facilitator in infertility treatment in Iran and maybe in our region uh, with vast experience in different parts, legal aspects, uh, medical uh, aspects of treatment and uh, touristic fields. Tebmet Tourism team invite all fertility treatment seekers from all over the world to come to Iran. We uh, welcome you with open arm and we'll do our best to get your desired results.